this time we'd like to welcome the University of Illinois Fighting Illini, the number nine seed in the West Region. Their head coach, Brian Underwood. Media contacts, we've got Kenny Brown and Derek Burson. And their locker room is open for the remaining 15 minutes of this press conference. Coach, welcome to Des Moines. Uh, Thank you. Analyze tomorrow's game. Yeah, excited to be here. Um, it's always a uh, terrific thing to be playing this time of year. And um, excited to uh, um, take on a very, very good Arkansas team. Uh, Arkansas is a team that uh, um, had a great year. They got a great coach, Eric Musselman. Uh, they're a team that is um, uh, electric in terms of their athleticism. Um, and and uh, um, I think in a lot of ways um, we're similar in the fact that we've had um, we we both had a lot of youth and uh, uh, some uh, some new guys um, that have, have have been in the program. Mus has done a great job, obviously a couple of elite eights uh, uh, since his arrival there. But uh, uh, excited about the opportunity and uh, excited about. Uh, uh, the new season, which is the NCAA tournament, and excited to be a part of it. This time we take questions. We go on the aisle on the left side, and then we'll go back to the right side on the aisle. Uh, hey, Brad. I'm a Bob Holt, the Arkansas Democrat. Is that you kind of touched on it there? And I watched your Sunday presser about you know teams hitting speed bumps. And Arkansas and y'all were both ranked in the top 20 earlier. You're not ranked now, but the bottom line is you're both here. You've had to overcome some some injuries and guys leaving the team and stuff. Do, do you see sort of similar trajectories and now you're both here and you, you can do some damage? Sure, absolutely. I think that, uh, you know, and I'm not going to speak for, for Moss. Uh, I'm going to speak on our side. I, you know, I think we've proven that we can beat anybody, you know, with UCLA and, and wins of UCLA, Texas, right down to the last possession against Virginia. Um, you know, we, we, we played some great basketball. The Big Ten helps prepare you for that. Um, you know, Arkansas is a little bit different type team than what we see in the Big Ten uh, in terms of their extreme athleticism. Um, maybe not uh, uh, um, play a little faster, maybe. But um, yeah, I think that uh, you know when you when you when you've got new teams, I think it's the the new era uh, with the portal. Uh, you know, we've we're going to continue to do it with freshmen and build and. So we're going to have young guys out there, but there's going to be ups and downs and, and, and speed bumps. But uh, uh, I think in our case, uh, um, and I'm sure Musk feels the same way, there's, they're, they got as good a chance as anybody in this year's tournament. On the right side of the aisle, do you have a question? Okay, I'm sorry. Front. Derek Piper, Atlanta Inquirer. Big swings within a game have been characteristic of your season. Seems like Arkansas has had it as well. As you evaluate the the downside of those for you, is there anything that, as you look at it, that can limit the damage so it's not as drastic one way? Yeah, we, we ours hasn't been just one thing. You know, early in the year it was turnovers. Um, you know, and then you you know the other night, uh, you know, last game it's you know you you're, you're you're playing pretty well, and then you string together some missed free throws, and so you don't counter those runs by by getting, you know, stepping up and making free throws. Uh, you know, it's been a little bit of um, inconsistency from um, a variety of different areas, um, and I think that happens again with with young teams. I think, you know, there's, I don't think there's any team in this tournament that's lost more than we lost in the last year, um, and and is here right now. And you know, we're um, uh, I think we've played through that pretty well, uh, but I think on the other side we've also shown tremendous spurtability, if you want to call it that. So uh, it hasn't been just one thing. I wish we could pinpoint and say, well, it's turnovers. Uh, you know, Penn State game we turned it over seven times. Um, so you know, it's it's always been a little bit of you know hit and miss from game to game. It's up front on the left side. Brad, uh, I guess since I don't know, last Thursday night or Friday, what's kind of been the focus or the approach, uh, the vibe, whatever, just to get ready for tomorrow? Yeah, belief. You got to believe you can win. You got to come here and it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Everything that you do to this point is to get you to this point. And, uh, 
you know, the 20-game grind of, of a Big Ten season and sellout crowds in every venue and, and um, uh, the, the familiarity is now completely different. We're in the NCAA tournament, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a new team. It's a different team. It's a different style. It's uh, a different name we don't hear uh, every time we, uh, we turn on a TV. Uh, and there's, I think, this sense of excitement with that. I also want our players to understand that you've got to enjoy this moment. And, and uh, I know one thing, uh, growing up the way I grew up in, in this profession, I sure don't take this for granted. Um, and, I, and I don't want our players to do that. I want them to enjoy it. But, uh, you know, I've kind of used the term, let your hair down and, and, and let's go play. And uh, we've, we've talked a lot about that. Steve Greenberg, Chicago Sun-Times. Hi, Brad. Uh, I'm going to ask you about what you just said, um, the, the, the letting their hair down department. Has, has that been a little bit hard for, for this group to do? Is that, has that been part of the puzzle? And, and, and for that matter, for you as well, has this been an enjoyable season like the last couple? Well, I love this team. I've said it many times. I, the character on our team is high, high level. We've got extremely high level people in that locker room and and guys who who care and you know I think it's part of our DNA is you know guys from winning programs and winning cultures and and that's very evident uh, you know it's it's never very easy to come together uh, in a quick amount of time and you know we didn't have Matt you know all summer uh, you know that becomes more challenging uh, you you miss that you're you're working on team building stuff um, I think the other piece to this that um, you don't let your hair down, so to speak, in the middle of conference play. I mean, in January, it's hard. It, it, is a, it is a grind. You have a different energy. Sometimes when you play a UCLA in Vegas in a non-league game uh, or in Texas in Madison Square Garden than you do uh, playing a league game on the road. Uh, in January, it's just a it's just a different vibe, and that's just being very honest. Um, now it's 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 kind of loose, and um, you know it's 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 win or, or go home, and um, you, we're trying to. This team has a great personality to handle that, and I I really believe that. Coach, we're going to go to the back row in the corner there on the right. Hey, Brad, uh, Eric Olson with the Associated Press. I uh, wanted to ask you, uh, you've been longtime friends with Bill Self, uh, who's here, of course. Um, and I know you spoke on your radio show, I believe, a little bit about him when, when the news came about his, uh, his heart procedure. Could, could you, are you surprised that he's here and able to coach? Uh, does that surprise you at all that he's, he's able to do it? No, because I know, um, known Bill since high school. Um, we've obviously got a long history. He played at Oklahoma State. I took a visit to Oklahoma State. He took me out on my visit, uh, which will keep all those details quiet. Um, but I also know how tough he is. I know what a competitor he is. Um, I, I also know uh, how important it is for him to be here for his players and his coaches, um, what his program has, has stood for and all the success. and. Um, I, I don't want to speak for Bill. I, you know, he may not be his 100% spry self, but I also know that, that there's a lot of things out there that um, in terms of family, his team, uh, his staff, that are really important that he goes out there and, and, and performs it, uh, the best he can to try to help them. And, and uh, when Bill's on that sideline, uh, he's helping his team. And um, uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not something that, that, that surprises me. Stand on the right side. You talked about the scary situation with Jaden. When that happened, did you ever question if you'd have him here available? And the fact that he's able to play, how big of that is for your team? Yeah, that that was that, that's a very scary moment, and um, uh, it was something that again we we I don't want to get into some of the details, but it, again, when a when a player collapses on the court, and you don't know why uh, at the at that moment. Um, yeah, and, and then to see some of the challenges he was having hours and hours and hours after that uh, and still not know the why um, was, was, was challenging. So, uh, you know, there are, there are kids, and you, you, you have a tremendous responsibility as a head coach, and 
you know, we may coach them hard and we may, um, uh, we may push them and drive them, but at the end of the day, we love them. And, you know, and, and going to that hospital after that practice and spending the night with, with Jaden that night and, and um, you know, it's, it's, um, it's our responsibility as coaches or mine as a coach. And uh, so I don't, I don't ever take that for granted. Um, I think the one thing that we're elated to find out what the problem was and how it happened, and then we were more elated to know that, uh, you know, there was a chance he would come back. And, and so it uh, means a great deal for me to see him out there. Uh, he's a terrific young, young person and great family. And, um, yeah, so from the bat, the, all that aside, the basketball side, there's no doubt he helps us. He's a 10-point-a-game guy. And, and has been through a, a lot of battles. I have three minutes time for a couple more questions up front on the right. I guess with Jaden, you mentioned he was doing double workouts over the weekend. How much do you think you'll have him uh, tomorrow? He's good to go. He's good to go. Yeah, we'll we'll um, again. It was I think it was an important three minutes he got in the game against Penn State. Um, you know, the first one he shot, he missed by six feet. Um, the next one he made. Uh, so it was good for him to get get a little of that adrenaline from a game out there because uh, he had not practiced. He'd just been through a shoot-around. So uh, just to get conditioning back, feel the emotion of a game was important as, as we head into to, to the NCAA tournament here. Question on the left, on the aisle. Yeah, Brad, uh, Bob Oldick and Arkansas Democrat is that you know, Anthony Black and Nick Smith, they're – projected lottery picks in most mock drafts you see what do you think of those two guys and having two they're obviously young but they're really talented what, what, what's your take on those two and the challenges that, that they present yeah I mean you know Nick is um, uh, outstanding scorer outstanding shooter you know he's a capable guy of getting 20 every night he's he steps on the court um, you know and he can do it in a variety of ways he can do it off catch and shoots he can do it off the bounce they're going to put you in ball screens uh, and, and Anthony is one of those guys that is, does it in so many different ways. He's got uh, you know, the length, the size, uh, downhill he can overpower you at the rim uh, with, with, with that length. Uh, he's got just uncanny quick, and quick hands and can bother you with steals on the defensive side. And, and again, you know, he's a 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, uh, you know, point. So, uh, they have great size on the perimeter with those two. They have great length. Um, and, uh, you know, I think Nick has given them a, uh, an offensive punch uh, in his return that, um, uh, that, has, that has helped them. And then you put him with Devo and, and the Twins, and now you've, got, you've got, got great length and athleticism. So, uh, yeah, those two are extremely talented. They're probably worthy of all their – Prospects and accolades, but uh, you know that's that doesn't mean the fact we got to go out and compete against them and and, and play extremely hard. I have a final question up here front on the left, Brad. You you said that Arkansas's athleticism is you said a little bit different compared to what you see. Is it is it really just a little bit different? Is it a lot different? And when's the last time Illinois played a sort of comparably Texas athletic team? Texas, Texas. Um, it's probably, you know, um, the, it's probably the best fit. Um, now, I don't want to say Texas, you know, um, Texas is a little bit different because Texas doesn't play a true true center. I mean, the Twins are are, are a little bit, but um, but yeah, athletically, they're they're very very comparable. Um, you know, we don't see those lean athletes like that in terms of. Um, you know, in terms of black, in terms of Nick, um, you know, and um, the pace they play is very fast, and and the way they play, so it's 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 different, no doubt. But uh, Texas is probably the, you know, uh, most comparable. Thank you. Thank you very much, Coach. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you.